I am Rose Weaver, and I am gratefully playing on Esther in Gym of the Ocean at Trinity. My history at Trinity Rep goes back to 1973. I was working for the Rhode Island State Council on the Arts. It was my first job out of college, out of Wheaton College. And I was planning on being an arts administrator. Everybody knows that. And I was singing um, at this function that I had coordinated for the Council on the Arts. And it was, I think it was in South Providence. And Dan Miller, who is the father of Senator Josh Miller, was um, the general manager at Trinity at the time. And he heard me singing and he said, you should audition for Trinity. And I knew, I knew what Trinity was, but I had no intention of really becoming a professional actor because I needed to make an income to help my family. He set it up, I accepted. And I went to Adrian's house, he was living on the east side. And I went to his house for my audition wearing little black character shoes and a, a black leotard. That's how we did it back then. I did a monologue from Queen Margaret. I could see the jovial look in Adrian's Hall's eyes, uh, but it made me feel good and warm. And he invited me to join the company as an acting fellow right on the spot. And I spent two years um, as an acting fellow learning how to do a lot of things. You know, not just acting. In fact, acting was almost secondary to learning how to take care of everything else. The set and painting and wigs and washing clothes and ironing costumes and all of that. And I spent a total of 22 seasons, but they were split up. The first time, my first stint was 11 seasons. That first 11 years at Trinity was wonderfully productive and I did a lot of work. Um, got my son here and then I I got married and I resigned basically in 1984 from Trinity and I moved to California with my new husband. I ended up coming back and forth between Los Angeles and Providence and it was great. Highlights of my career have included definitely playing Billie Holiday at Trinity. It was a one woman show I had to dig in there, learn that character, learn Billie Holiday, and I watched everything I possibly could watch about Billie Holiday, read everything, and I wanted to capture her essence. Um, doing um, so, um, a work with uh, Carol O'Connor was a highlight on In the Heat of the Night. It was probably the biggest guest starring role I had had up until then. And now, getting to play on Esther, and Jim of the Ocean is really a highlight because I have to say, uh, my life had been no golden stair in terms of getting roles. Playing on Esther is, next to Billie Holiday, the biggest role I've ever had. And getting to play on Esther is just, it feels right. When Jude Sandy called me and asked me to read for him, I was like, <laughs> I was like a kid in a candy store. I was so excited. If I had to describe on Esther in my own words, the first words out of my mouth would be that she is a healer. She is a cleanser of souls. So that spirituality that she possesses, this character possesses, I'm very much like that. I feel God in nature and that's why like on Esther, I pay a lot of attention to nature. And so her relationship to all these other characters is, it's a family. And she has pulled together this family. They've somehow merged together. And, and, and they are, it's a very important group of people for this community. The way Jude Sandy has cast it is magical. I love them. This group of people. Jude and all of the actors, the stage manager, and all of the folks who are doing the productions. Uh, oh, it's amazing. And again, I believe it's fate. So how have I prepared for this role? First of all, I'm shocked that it's so much dialogue and long monologues. But I'm not shocked, on the other hand, because that's how August Wilson writes. And it's, it's like, sto it's storytelling. I approach a character from the inside out. And that means 
reading the text over and over and trying to uncover what Mr. Wilson is saying and what are the metaphors and what do they mean. Each section, just keep reading and reading it and trying to say, what does that mean? And once I can understand what it means, then I can start learning the lines. I'm in the process of learning lines now. I'm still looking up stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm doing some physical training because it's a rigorous play. It takes energy to do the show. Your diaphragm and using it to project your voice and to speak clearly, you over enunciate so that people hear the words so therefore they can get the meaning. I was always taught that if you miss one word in something you're reading, you lose part of the meaning. Unesther represents black womanhood in several ways. That myth of the superwoman, it's not a myth. Black women have been superwomen. We have always been and we still are. We've had to be superwomen. We have been the spiritual foundation in a lot of ways in our communities. Yes, we've had our ministers, but the black woman has held down that household. She has raised those children a lot of times by herself, and she has still maintained a resilience and a joy for life. And you know, when you lose some of your family members, a lot of times it's the black woman who keeps things together. I lost my mother, my son, and my husband all within six months of each other. And not only did I have to keep myself together, but I had to keep some of my family members together too. And I ask myself a lot of times, when are we really going to be loved? On Esther, is really a wonderful black role model. And, and August Wilson to have that sensitivity to capture her. And he's depicted her as a 285 to 300 year old woman. You know, some of it's metaphysical and people are going to have to use their imaginations to travel with her through her strength and her love and her everything. Black women and their strength is clearly depicted in our Esther in a loving way. The kinds of things that Aunt Esther teaches in this play include a, a quote I, uh, I liked, and that is, love will help you toward getting right with yourself. Self-respect, self-love, respect for others, examining the truth. What is the truth? And whose truth is it? I, I'm constantly saying Art Sage Lives. And when people see Gem of the Ocean, they're gonna really learn something. Every time August Wilson does a play, all of his plays teach us about so many important things. You know, the spirituality in this play. It's me, a lot of it. It's very, very special to be back. And I hope all of the, the friends and fans that I've made here will come and support us. We artists need that. So everyone, I want you to know that tickets are on sale right now to see Gem of the Ocean at Trinity Repertory Company. And you can go to trinityrep.com slash gym, G-E-M, and buy your tickets. And let me know you come. Send me a note or something to say hello. I miss you all.